the first randomized trial comparing conventional transmural endoscopic drainage and US-guided drainage of pancreatic pseudocysts was conducted by Dr. Varada Rajulu at the University of Alabama in 2008. In this randomized trial, US-guided drainage was superior to conventional transmural drainage with higher technical success. However, not all facilities have access to US technology. Also, lumen piercing metal stents are increasingly being used for drainage of pancreatic fluid collections. However, as we have shown in the Orlando Protocol for the Endoscopic Management of Pancreatic Fluid Collections, drainage using plastic stents is recommended in patients with pancreatic pseudocysts and pancreatic ductal obstruction due to the risk of PFC recurrence. Therefore, in this video, we will be demonstrating the tips for successful conventional drainage of pancreatic pseudocysts using plastic stents as this is an elegant art form in select patients with complete obstruction of the pancreatic duct that can still be practiced with good clinical outcomes. This 57-year-old female with history of chronic calcific pancreatitis was admitted with abdominal pain. CT showed pancreatic ductal stones and a large pancreatic pseudocyst. A pancreatogram performed at ERCP showed complete obstruction of the main pancreatic duct in the neck of the pancreas due to ductal stones. Decision was made to perform conventional transmural drainage of the pancreatic pseudocyst. Prior to embarking on conventional drainage, the CT should be examined carefully to ensure absence of any intervening vessels. A side-viewing duodenoscope was passed into the gastric lumen where a large bulge was visualized in the gastric body due to extrinsic compression from the pseudocyst. A needle knife was then used to puncture the pseudocyst and the fluid should be aspirated to confirm access to cyst contents. A 0.025 or a 0.035 inch guide wire then should be introduced through the needle knife and into the collection and allowed to coil within the fluid collection. The transmural tract was then dilated to 12 to 15 millimeters using a radial expansion balloon. Ideally, two guide wires should be placed into the collection to ensure that the access to the pancreatic pseudocyst is guaranteed. Two or three plastic double pigtail stents can then be placed through the transmural tract and into the collection and left indwell in situ indefinitely. The patient should receive broad-spectrum antibiotics prior to the procedure and also for 48 hours post-drainage. A CT performed post-procedure showed the plastic stents remaining in situ and a significant decrease in the size of the pancreatic pseudocyst. The patient was discharged home the next day. Florida Live EUS draws delegates from 30 countries to Orlando, Florida as a premier global event in EUS. For delegates coming from all over the world to know the different methods available for treating complex diseases, Florida Live EUS is the only event where such procedures are performed by international superstar faculty. If you want to learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art endoscopy technologies, Please attend Florida Life EUS from August 21st to 23rd, 2025 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Life, where the magic of endoscopy begins.